train r ratio train r ratio is another risk adjusted performance measure so what is train r ratio it is again reward to risk ratio it is again reward to risk ratio how much risk we take and how much in turn we get that is measured by train r ratio so how it differs from sharp ratio see the formula here rp minus rf divided by beta rp is portfolio return rf is risk free return and beta is the market risk of the portfolio beta denotes the market risk of the portfolio so standard deviation is used in sharp ratio whereas beta is used in train r ratio so that is the main difference between these two ratios and let us see train r ratio with an example see the slide here the risk free return is 5 percentage and uh, beta is 1.2 and uh, scheme return is 8 percentage and again as i said earlier an investor has two options now either he can go for risk free rate of 5 percentage or he can take risk and invest in another scheme which has the potential to generate 8 percentage so how much extra we need we are aiming for 8 it means that we are aiming for extra 3 percentage this is what we call as risk premium in order to get this extra return how much risk are we taking here the market risk of the portfolio is beta that is 1.2 so you divide these two numbers so rp minus rf divided by beta that is 3 percentage divided by beta is 1.2 which is 2.5 it means that 2.5 times the market risk we are able to generate returns the scheme generates returns 2.5 times the market risk this is train r ratio and few more points about sharp and train r ratio sharp ratio train r ratio are comparative measures sharp ratio uses standard deviation train r ratio uses beta we have one more risk adjuster performance measure that is known as alpha we will see alpha also so what is alpha alpha is the difference between a scheme return and its optimal return or benchmark return so what is benchmark return so what is benchmark every scheme is compared with a market index market index is known as benchmark for example sensex is a benchmark nifty is a benchmark bsc 100 is a benchmark bsc 200 is a benchmark so we compare our scheme return with that of a benchmark return let us say sensex has given 35 percentage return or let us say sensex has given 30 percentage return whereas our scheme has given 35 percentage return so how much extra our scheme has given our scheme has given 5 percentage extra this is what we call as alpha so a positive alpha means outperformance and a negative alpha means underperformance alpha measures fund manager performance because the ability to deliver higher return than the benchmark depends on the ability of the fund manager so alpha measures fund manager performance and last but not least we have few things to conclude about sharp ratio train r ratio and alpha these three ratios are comparative measures it has to be compared with some other scheme it should not be seen alone higher the sharp ratio better the risk adjuster performance similarly higher the train r ratio better the risk adjuster performance and positive alpha means outperformance positive alpha denotes fund manager ability or fund manager it measures fund manager performance and uh, 
we heard a feedback that problems are being asked from sharp and trainer issues so you practice well thank you